Hello guys and thank you for choosing my pre-education video tutorials. My name is Chris and today we'll be learning how to create a Google account. Creating a Google account is a very simple process. It can be done from any browser. So I'll launch my Mozilla Firefox browser. You can use any browser that you have to create a Google account. Once you launch your browser, go to the address bar and type accounts.google.com. Now this is accounts.google.com will bring you to this page. Now this is where you sign in if you already have a Google account. But if you don't have an account, there's a link down there that says create an account. So that's what you'll click on and it should take you to a page where you can create your Google account. Uh, creating a Google account requires uh, you fill in this form with all the fields that are required and then you click on next step to activate your account. Now to create a Google account you just need to put in your name. If it's a name of a company, you can still put it there. Or if it's a personal account, you can as well put it there. So you put your two names there. Then you'll choose a username. And uh, in a username, you choose what will be your email address associated with your Google account. Uh, right here, you can use letters, numbers, or periods, as you can see in these instructions. So you can choose any any username or any email address that you feel is going to be easy for you to remember. And you can click outside the box to see if it that username is available and if it doesn't show you okay if it shows you something red that says someone already has that username it means that username has been taken by someone else so you can try another one you can just try and be creative and look for another one or you can use the suggestions that Google gives you uh, for example Google is giving me uh, Weber Chris 874 uh, which looks like a nice username to use but you can use anyone you, any username that you want so after you select a username which is available, WeberCris874, uh, then you need to create a password. Uh, creating a password requires that you use a strong password. And uh, as you're typing your password, there will be a gauge uh, right here that should tell you how strong your password is. For example, if I put one letter, you can see that uh, the password strength is still uh, maroon. I should go to light green to show you that it's a strong password. When I add a few more characters, uh, it still remains there. Then when I put a number, and a special character for example uh, I should have a stronger password you can see it's already light green and it's telling me it's a strong password anyway to write a password to create a Google account password it has to be eight characters as you can see here and you can use alphanumeric character that means numbers and letters to make your password stronger so I'll select your password uh, then you can repeat that password just like that and uh, then you need to select your birthday remember google accounts are only available for people who are over 18 years of age so you put your birthday there then you choose gender whether you're male female or other i don't know why anyone will choose other but uh, choose your gender there and then you can put your mobile phone number which is optional I don't really have to put your mobile phone number but it's important to put your phone number uh, because it helps with uh, recovering your account or keeping your account secure you can receive notifications of uh, suspicious activities in your Google account I can also put your current email address if you don't have it's still okay it's not a compulsory field then uh, this is why you fill in this capture code uh, select your country in this section uh, but Google already knows which country you're from then you need to uh, check this box to tell Google that you agreed to the terms of service now once you're done cross check uh, make sure you remember webercris 874 at gmail.com is going to be your username uh, your name is Chris Weber remember your password uh, the birthday you selected and uh, very important thing is to remember is the date of creation of your Google account you need to remember which date you created your Google account it's very important sometimes when you want to recover your account and once you have all that information in stop you can click on this uh, next step button to create your Google account uh, so your account is already created uh, this is just shows you a few more steps to you know customize your account 
and you can add a profile photo for your Google account right here. You can skip that by clicking next step. Now, what you, basically, what you're doing now is trying to customize your Google account to look like exactly what you want. So, you'll find a message there Welcome, Chris. Uh, your new email address is webacris 874gmail.com. And uh, I'll get started here. And uh, there you go. So that's your new Google account. Uh, once you create a Google account, you have created an account for all the other, you know, pr Google products associated with the account. Now you have you can create a Google pro Plus profile with that username and password. You can create a Google Maps account, a Google Drive account, a Gmail account, and uh, all the other Google products available. So that's how you can create a Google account in your own computer and you can create your own google account just like that thank you for watching you can ask any question you have in the comments below this video and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys soon